Number 6. This is 1971. The half dollar struck on a 40% silver planchet. A fascinating and rare wrong planchet error. According to Stax Powers, an issue that was produced using the then new copper nickel clad composition struck on a 40% silver planchet in error. As the demo meant to use that composition for its 1970D half dollar issue, this planchet was obviously left over from the preceding year's coinage. Boldly struck with satiny luster, both sides exhibit only the lightest suggestions of toning to otherwise silver gray surfaces. Exceedingly rare, of great significance to advanced mint error enthusiasts. It was sold for $9,900. Number 5 here is 1974 Eisenhower dollar in mint state 67. Comes with CEC approval, this green sticker on the PCGS holder. According to Jaime Hernandez, the 1974 Eisenhower dollar is very common in circulated grades, as it has one of the higher mintage in the series. The mint struck over 27 million coins for the issue, and even low uncirculated grades, it's very common. However, in number 65 and higher grades, is one of the Tougher issues of the Type 1 circulation struck Eisenhower dollars. In MS66, it's even scarcer, and only the coins struck in 1972 along with 1971P are tougher to find in MS66 and higher. These rare MS67 specimen fetched a sum of $11,925 with buyer's fee. Number 4. Here is 1946S Washington Quarter in MS68 condition. Approaching perfection, this tantalizing smooth 46S Quarter does not reveal so much as a single trivial detraction. Potent frosty luster is very much in evidence. However, as it beautiful toning in crimson russet, orange gold and silver rose colors, simply exquisite, it was sold for $14,950. Number 3. This is 1970s Lincoln scent with double diverse, famous modern error scent, satiny, nearly brilliant luster blankets, both sides of this exquisite upper end gem. The complexion is best in original light orange mint color that glows radiantly under illumination, well struck and without notable blemishes, leaving the doubling clearly defined on the obverse legends. Number 2. Here is 1910 Lincoln Scent with a punched mint mark S. S stands for San Francisco branch of the mint, graded in mint state 67 red by PCGS, a pristine example of this rare variety with vibrant olive gold coloration across each side. The fields are blanketed in dense, mud-like luster, complementing the more satiny texture of devices, incredibly sharp throughout and spared from notable blemishes of any sort. A highly sought-after variety, the 1910S FS502 is an underrated variety that sits in the shadow of more famous varieties like 1958 and 1969S. However, advanced Lincoln collectors recognize its true rarity and its often jewel in the most specialized collections. It was sold for $19,200. Number 1, and this is 1939D Jefferson Nickel in MS68 condition with full steps, a scarcer variety from the second year of Jefferson Nickel production. Faint gold and peach tones dominate the patina, with themes of powder blue accenting the rims. The luster is uniform and satiny across each side, complementing the overall untouched surfaces. This variety is remarkably challenging in grades above MS66 and exponentially more so when the full steps detail is considered. It was sold for $26,400. And there you have it folks, if you enjoyed this exploration into the world of numismatics, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating coin related content. As always, keep digging, keep collecting and keep cherishing the fascinating world of rare coins. See you in the next episode.